Hi Gemini! This is your weekly day-by-day -day tarot cards reading by Emma for the week beginning 3rd of January 2022. So we're going to have two cards per day for every day of this week. Monday, the 3rd of Jan for you Gemini. Two of Wands. Page of Wands. Page of Cups Wednesday, the Tower Thursday, Ace of Swords Friday, Death Saturday, and Ten of Pentacles Sunday, Eight of Wands, your influencing energy. Anyway, we'll comment on it just now. So, Two of Wands with Page of Wands Monday. And Page of Wands on Tuesday with King of Swords. Now Page of Cups Wednesday with Knight of Wands. The Tower Thursday with Ace of Swords. Ace of Swords on Friday, okay, with the World. Death Saturday with Five of Wands and Ten of Pentacles Sunday with Straight. Interesting. You know, um, interesting pairings you have Monday, Tuesday with the Page of Wands and Thursday, Friday with Ace of Swords. Now, two eights, your influencing energy from last week, Eight of Wands and Eight of Swords. You felt stuck in a situation with your life, or with your ideas, with something that is, you know, I don't know, obstructed you. You obstructed yourself with your ideas of what you should do, what you mustn't do, um, with um, maybe other people around you having too many responsibilities for other people that you took upon yourself. I will do it, not to worry. I will take it, not to worry. And then it was piling up, piling up. Eventually, it was too much for you. Feeling that you are, for some reason, you see what I'm saying, stuck with the situation. Situation became ob obstructive for you. With eight of wands out there, it seems to me there is a moment for you to free yourself, okay? Something is on your mind. You are communicating. You are preparing yourself. You are doing things. This is your to-do list, okay? Plenty things on your mind that you have to attend before, before you are out there doing something else. But you are definitely expanding two eights. Nothing can dilute, okay, that quality of number eight, that you are expanding, you are freeing yourself, you are going for more, you will have more. This one is something that is bridging, you know, that past time, that previous time, unwanted, unhappy, unpleasant time into something else, but still you have to do something in between, you have to communicate, um, send some applications, fill up some, some forms, you have to, you see what I'm saying, do these preparations whether that is some sort of paperwork or communications with people or some knowledge, something is prior for you. You will have to do this, okay? Land it properly on the ground and from there you will develop, you will free yourself. In that sense, you saw it somewhere last week. Now, page of wands, I told you it's a major theme here, Monday and Tuesday, okay? Now, page is a very lovely, youthful energy, very exciting energy. It seems to me that you just stood on that new territory, okay? Like you were preparing yourself and this one says you are on to that new. You're going to do your business, okay? You're going to do your business. Yes, you established your business. You did send applications down there to government institutions for approval, for registration number. You see what I'm saying? That's what you were busy earlier on and here you are standing on to it. This is not I am doing business, but I am prepared to start to do my business. You see what I'm saying? With the two of wands, having vision about what will be with the death, what you are doing now with this idea. Monday, Tuesday, you definitely have idea about yourself. What are you about, you know, to do with yourself now, this week, next week? And this is new territory, new ground. Nothing, as I said, you are not doing it, okay? But you are ready to do that, to move forward. You do have great idea, you are excited about it and you're just about to move forward with it. Also very exciting energy, two of wands, about your vision, about your new life. Now, king of swords within you, 
that's a mind that's a logic that's clarity that's certainty okay that what you are doing that what where you were you are not doing as i said you are not doing it yet but you just made that first step across that threshold into that new territory and you have clarity yeah that's my way that i'm what i'm going to do that what's going to bring me something you're going to create something here monday tuesday you've got something on your mind and you are passionate about it you're very enthusiastic about something that you are about to do you are ready to do it there's enthusiasm and eagerness i want to do it clarity on your mind i like this king of swords with these energies because this um, fire energy of page of wands page creator you know sometimes just burns within that idea okay great idea and enjoying idea you see what i'm saying and never things to move on with king of swords all oh, things will move on because this is logic this is mine gemini this is you this is how you going to do that and you are certain with yourself this is you in your full power and with very passionate ideas about your future what are you going to create what are you going to build what are you going to develop from now on in your life or in in whatever aspect of your life in that sense, Monday, Tuesday, lovely, lovely, uh, talks about newness. Both of all of these energies are very, very new. Something that you just begin to do. Now, we have page of cups with the knight of wands. This knight of wands is again this very passionate energy from page of wands into knight of wands. Now this one, as I said, is standing onto, okay, that first step just at the threshold. New territory. I am on my new territory. I am doing my new career, new job or whatever. New that you want to do. Prepared and ready. Now this one is moving. This one is going already and very passionate about it. Okay, cannot stand, stand still. This energy of Knight of Wands, very passionate, fast moving energy, nothing to stop you on this day. What you want to do, you will do it. Again, this youthful energy of Page of Cups this time talks about your, again, childlike happiness, about where you are heading or you are making great times for yourself. With the page of cups, there's no obstacles that you can see for yourself. There's no, there's no challenges that you can see for yourself. And also this knight of wands often, often goes a bit blindly forward just because it's excited. But this energy is capable, okay? It's not big planner, okay? It's a bit of random energy, but normally, Knight of Wands energy succeeds, okay? Creates that what you want to create. You see what I'm saying? Knight of Wands does the job. A bit random, a bit hectic sometimes, but does the job. Now, this is about that sort of energy, not, not seeing any problems, which doesn't mean that you won't have problems, but but it's just your state of mind is like that from now on it yeah you will be happy you will complete it you will do it nothing can stop you you cannot even comprehend that that what you do that goal that you have for yourself that what you are creating can maybe bring problems in that sense you've got a very optimistic very very youthful energy on wednesday now, the tower and ace of swords, not clarity again, we love this ace of swords, and I love it particularly, anyhow, I can never, hardly ever, I can see problem with this ace of swords, not even with the tower, okay, this is your clarity, what you have to leave behind, you have to leave behind, okay, you are building something else, you are creating something else, from earlier on, you were very passionate, very busy with something, okay, and you were moving forward, you know, with excitement, this passion for something new, for new career, for something else, okay? It doesn't need to be a complete change of career, but something maybe day to day, just for this week, something to do, but still, it's new things, it's new territory, and you are excited about it, and you are doing it. Perhaps you used to do something earlier on, similar. Now, that what you do will definitely, definitely replace that what you have done earlier on. 
the tower always uh, destroys that what was you believed you built you I don't know you communicated there was something that you built with time you believed in something now you are not believing in it anymore you have your different vision your great vision for your life and you are clear about that you want something else for yourself you want to do different things this week at least Maybe we are talking different career altogether that you are planning. You see what I'm saying? But that what is right now with you, that has to go. Okay? It's not that these two things can stay together. You cannot stay together with two careers. You cannot stay together with, I don't know, whatever that you are creating here. These two things are excluding each other. That what you build and believe build and believe okay that career that job that what you used to do now you will be doing something else and you're very excited about that and this will go away ace of swords it's your clarity about it you know what you are doing you are doing it with purpose with intention okay problem with the tower particularly out there outer energy for you gemini is that there are other people involved here, okay, there is a sort of, always sort of relationship that you build with other people as well, it's not just you here within this tower, there's other people, now these people won't be happy about it, there will be dust, noise, for some people this, this will be catastrophe, people, some of them won't be happy at all, and they will blame you, you or aware of it. Okay, there's awareness. Ace of Swords is awareness. You have to get rid of it. Okay, this relationship, this something, whatever. Definitely you have to discard it. All awareness is about it because you know you are building already something else. It's not that you are destroying something and you are clueless about what you're going to do now. No, you already began to build something else. Now, since you have that what you have up until Wednesday, now this one must go. Because you have something much better, okay? And that's your understanding, that's your thoughts, that's your clarity. You have totally clear mind here. You know exactly what you are doing. As I said, it might be that you have other people involved and maybe not really happy with situation. Now, this Ace of Swords, this time with the world. It says you you already to destroy that what you build and to complete some period in your life. This isn't, you know, just for this week. I'm telling you, Gemini, you are changing something. I don't know, relationship, business, career, something. You are changing here and it's not thing that is, that is, you know, kind of to keep you occupied this week. No, this is something more important. You are destroying something that lasted, that you did build with time. And this one is also very Saturnian. You build this world energy with time. It's a time frame here with the world energy. You were dancing, you know, and operating with this frame of time within these two years or ten years or whatever time frame that you've been in. But now you don't understand it's over in a way com completed in here in an unpleasant way. As I said, people will be involved. I, I think this tower here is just because of other people. Okay, they will tell you they are not happy about how your decision affects them. Okay, they're not going to be happy. I believe that tower on Thursday comes for that. Okay, now Friday just confirms to you that it's time to complete it and to finish it and to leave it behind because you are beginning anew. Something else is already there. This is much better energy. This is optimistic. This is successful energy. The world and Ace of Swords is your successful energy. You understand that you're completing this period in your life and you are moving forward with something better something that will bring more success, more joy, more prosperity, in that sense. Life never finished, just one phase completed, and on it, something new began already. Carry on with something else, and you are very clear about it, and you are, in a way, very excited about it. Some period in your life is finishing. There's world, there's tower, there's world, there's death. I mean, how more completion cards that we're going to get in here? Look, death is now marching, transitioning, going into something else. You are already, already there. Okay, something is gone already. 
completed, gone already. The death on Saturday says it's gone, never to be in your life again. You have decided you were ready. I mean, nothing that surprised you in here. It's only now that is. This is a very new beginning. Five of Wands talks about you being unprepared, you being confused. Which way? What do I do now on this day? What is first now for me to do? How do I start building, you know, on this territory? How do I start? Yes, there is new idea. There is you or onto it already and you are excited about it. But this is, you know, that nitty gritty things, these things that you are doing, practical things, practical idea, day to day, hour to hour. You see what I'm saying? And it seems to me on this day, you will feel unprepared. You know, a bit chaotic, uh, confused. How do I start now from here? What is first, what is second? You know, what method do I use? What system do I use? How do I use to it? You will use to it. This energy is conflicting, okay? And it is within you. You were conflicted here, of course, because it's a brand new territory for you, Gemini. Of course you're confused. That is your moment when you were brand new, youthful, with this new situation in the new, different situation, whatever it is, and you were unprepared. You don't know exactly what to do, but you will. With the time, you'll find your routine, you'll get used to people, you'll get used to to whatever that you need to do. You see what I'm saying? You just need to find your routine. You need to put this, all these ideas, you need to put them together. And you will. This conflicting energy eventually, eventually harmonizes itself, put things together and balances itself. You see what I'm saying? This is lovely energy, very common, you know, in situations like this, when you are finishing with something and you are beginning anew. Excitement is there. Yes, that's newness, that's lovely things, but confusion. What is my head? What is my tail here? But you will find your routine, you'll find your way. Ten of Pentacles with strength on Sunday. No, this is completion. Again, you are completing something successfully. Ten of Pentacles, there is some money, receiving money. We are talking maybe family gatherings here, but happy one, you know, the whole family is there and everybody is happy. Some completion is there to celebrate, okay? Some money received is there to celebrate. Something you bought for yourself, something valuable, okay? You bought a piece of land, you bought house, something, you bought something valuable something that will stay with you okay could also be with ten of pentacles but now strength energy is within you you have to somehow control yourself I, I don't know why strength now here after all of it it seems to me you have to show yourself like I'm in control you know like maybe just extension of these five of wands you don't want to show yourself uncertain okay you don't want to show yourself confused. On Sunday, you have to push that confusion deep within yourself to overpower it, okay, within yourself to show how they, to show to yourself that you are in charge, you're not confused, you will manage, you will put things together, you will succeed. In that sense, you know, you kind of uh, encouraging yourself. Strength energy is that sort of inner encouragement. You can do it, you can control it, don't be afraid. In that sense, your energy. But you see what I'm saying? Things are happening for you in a good way. We may talk some money, we may talk some completion. I don't think it's money, but some sort of valuable completion, something that will stay there for you to grow on it. Okay, this is your medium. This is something that you are building, some new territory that you are preparing yourself, seeds that you are throwing down, the new seeds that's supposed to grow for you. In that sense, I really believe this week very, very important for you, Gemini. Something is definitely finished, but not before you prepared terrain to grow on. New terrain, new things, new career, something new is there that you prepared. You were busy even last week with the very same thing. Anyway, Gemini, I really hope that you're going to enjoy it. Now, if you want your private reading, one like this one that you saw just now, go to my description box below. Click on the Fiverr link and um, that will take you through your order. 